Hi, I'm Anne Smerden, Australian artist, and these are my two birds, Vonnegut and Sheila. And today we're going to show you my painting process using oil paint of some beautiful Canterbury bell flowers that I grew in my garden. And I'm going to see if these guys want to get in on the painting too. If you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I always like to have the birds with me while I'm setting up my still life. It helps them to feel more comfortable around the foreign objects. Placing their treat jar on the table helps encourage them to get close to the new objects and giving them some positive reinforcement with a treat helps as well. The hardest bit is keeping one bird occupied while I take photos of the other. I work a la prima, so to start I mix up the colours where the darkest dark meets the lightest light in the picture. In this case it was the back of Vonnegut's neck against the background. Starting where the darkest dark meets the lightest light helps to set the tonal range for the painting, which makes it so much easier to paint. You'll also notice I'm painting on a board with a wash of raw umber which is kind of like a mid-tone colour, so it gets rid of the white of the canvas and makes it so much easier to judge the tones when I'm painting. This is important because with Alla Prima, my aim is to get the colour exactly right with each stroke, so I'm making little adjustments to the colour as I go. Of course what you're seeing is sped up, so what you don't see is me making those adjustments to the colour. As I paint, I ask myself, is the colour darker or lighter than the one before? Is it more of a cool green or a warm green? Is it more vibrant or more dull? And all of this helps me to make the correct colour adjustments. Because even though Vonnegut is a green bird, you'll see at the front of his chest he's actually got orange and pink, and that's because the tablecloth is reflecting warm light onto his feathers. You'll notice as I paint the birds, I'm using a photo, and that's mainly because it's really hard to get birds to stand still, but also because I don't want any birds around my oil paints while I'm painting. Even though I only use solvents to clean my brushes and I always keep it in a sealed jar, I just don't want to take any risks around any birds. But when it comes to the still life arrangement, like the Canterbury Bell flowers and the jar, I always want to try and paint from life. It makes it more of a challenge, which I strangely enjoy, uh, but it also helps me to see the subtle colour changes a lot better, because sometimes the camera won't pick these up, particularly in some of the dark colours, like the background and the deep purple of the flowers. And of course, when you add in the final details, in particular those white highlights on the shiny glass elements, it really brings it to life. Um, even the little treats, the sunflower seeds in the jar, they're quite fun to paint. And then it's just a matter of adding in the final details, any finishing touches, a signature at the end as well. And then this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching my painting process. If you have any questions at all, or you'd like help with your art, or you'd like to join my art classes, you'll find them at artery.com.au and you can look up my work at annesmerden.com.